I'm such a sucker for the Spanish moss. Look, buddy, there's an eagle. He caught one. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Now the trick is if you go high. Small or what? What day is it? Happy times Valentine's Day! Happy times Valentine's Day. Happy times. Yes, I know I look like a red lobster. Snap, snap. And yes, I know what you're all thinking. You gotta be kidding. Another Mennonite making a video about Florida. <sighs> I was trying to decide if I even wanted to. <laughs> So back when I was making my pregnancy announcement, I remember I was feeling like, this is so crazy. I feel like this is just a trend. Like every Mennonite YouTuber is either just announcing pregnancy or is almost ready to have a baby or just had a baby. It was like this season and I felt like I was just jumping on the bandwagon and announcing pregnancy just because that's what everyone's doing. And here I am in Florida and now I'm feeling the exact same way. Everyone else has went to Florida this year, everyone else, and here I am in Florida. However, the reason that we're here is a little bit different. We did not plan to come here on vacation, so I'll let you know later in the video why we actually came to Florida. So, welcome to Florida. So our flight left Sunday evening, and wouldn't you know it, kept getting delayed. And by the time we were about ready to fly off, we should have been here, and then lo and behold, they canceled our flight, and everything got turned on its head. So we had to drive to another airport, spend the night nearby, we purchased tickets with another airline for the next day out, so it was kind of a real headache getting here, but we finally did get here the next day in the afternoon, and everything worked out, but it was a little bit stressful. <laughs> So for the first half of our stay, we were able to stay right in this little community called Pinecraft. It's actually the first time I've stayed there since I was like 14. We don't usually come down here much, but back when I was a kid, we came here. It's like a little community where a lot of Amish and Mennonite go to vacation. And it's kind of neat, actually. It's kind of a neat experience. There's a little park there. People go and play volleyball. Um, so we were able to stay there. It was kind of relaxing, and we just did kind of all the normal things. We are staying in the most adorable little house. We finally are getting settled in. It's like four in the afternoon, so I'm ready to go soak up some sun. Buddy, what'd you get? I got a shovel. I'm going to put it right underneath. All ready for the beach? Yep. Happy times, Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> Excavating service. <laughs> I don't think I feel like Look at this thing. Come back. What? Look, look at this thing. Look at that. Way over there. Oh, he went to walk down there and meet up with two friends. What's well, one thing we always do when we travel? What are you about ready to do right now? Rock. Rocks. We're always finding places to throw rocks. Hey, ducks, show you already. Don't you? throw, don't throw, don't throw rocks at the ducks. Why? Because that's not nice. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Did you do you find a bedrock, Dad? Where are the ducks? Let's go this way. Mom, let's go this way. If you see our car 
use a bag with whatever we want to go. A knife. Okay. And I could write, JM loves NM. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go this way. Away from the water. I'm going this way. I know the right direction. He's diving into the water. Really? Yes. Okay. You're right. <laughs> what did he get? Think they're gonna fight? They legit got a fish. It's like a little bird. Ask Dad what kind of bird it is. Oh, he got one. Yeah. He got one. Yeah. Yes, he did. He's eating one fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep watching. I'm such a sucker for the Spanish moss. Look, buddy, there's an eagle. Eagle, eagle. Here comes the eagle. That is cool. I think I got that on camera. That eagle dropped down and grabbed a fish out of the water. Yes. Did you see it, buddy? Yeah. This is so awesome. So we are at like this park here in Pinecraft and it's just beautiful. I'm just such a sucker for like Spanish moss and the sun just setting through. It's just gorgeous. All the ferns kind of spite it. I just have my little GoPro long and I have all these beautiful photos <laughs> and, ah, I don't have my nice big camera, but oh well. So many photo ops, but uh, at least I have my GoPro. Who's coming for the party? <laughs> I think they're going to fight. Are they going to fight? Yeah. Look, yeah, they're going Apparently the stork said, I'm not going to share my fish with you. Yeah, all right, I'll go. <laughs> we slept in, we ate good food, we relaxed around the community there. We went to feed the flamingos, which everyone goes to do, but Xander just loved it, and it was so much fun. Loved it. Okay. We go back to this outer trail, there's supposedly a lemur back there. Oh, really? <laughs> Shall we go see King Julian? <laughs> he wants my look! Uh -huh. There's two in there! He's saying, I like to move it. Why is he jump? Look, he's gonna fall! Yeah? You think? I like to move it. I like to move it, baby. I'd like to move it, move it. I wonder what's over. Oh, what is that? Look! What is it, bud? <laughs> he looked down there with his green eyes. <laughs> Dad's liking this as much as you are. <laughs> Man, he's pretty cool. I'm sorry if you want to be Pretty cool, buddy. Here, little donkey. I know I want to see Did you like it? Yeah, that was so much fun. It was fun. I, I love when two cobbled up. That was so pretty neat. Down <laughs> oh. in. Bye bye, Dirty. He wants some more food. My goodness. You're happy you stopped to see them. Look how happy they are that you stopped to see them. So we came to the jungle gardens here in Sarasota. Brought Xander and he's just loving it. Really funny thing happened. We were walking along the path and there was like this fake alligator that looks pretty real like sitting right along and he jumped that bad with this look of just horror on his face until he realized it was fake because he kind of has this apprehension that alligators are everywhere down here. 
Oh, it was so funny. You go, go sit on the front there. No. <laughs> Why? You're scared. Okay. See the turtles out there in the pond, bud? It's a porcupine. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, don't, don't catch him to see if they'll land on your hand. You don't want to hurt him. Dad, I chose the butterfly's wings. Butterflies. Just stay right there. There you go. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh, there he comes. Hold your hand. <laughs> what's, oh, what's wrong, buddy? Mm. Surrounded by peacocks. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Xander's kind of worried, aren't you, buddy? Are you a little bit worried? Yeah. Okay, let's. You run after Dad. Look, they're leaving. They thought you had food. I'm sorry. Uh, I think that's these that. old peacocks don't realize how ugly they are from the back end. I, I think. I think. I think. Oh. I think he's going to see his boss. Like... Fabric's going to see his boss. Yeah, yeah they're going to try to... Look at that, he's chasing him. <laughs> that peacock thinks he's just hot stuff. I think they're going to see his boss. They're seeing his boss. Look! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he wants some alligator for you. This is funny. a giraffe. I'm sorry. Thank you. We went to the beach like almost every single day. So much fun. <laughs> we are coming out to the beach. It's kind of a cool day, but mostly for Xander to dig in the sand and he already can't wait. Want your sunglasses, butter, no. <laughs> He's digging in the parking lot. And what's so amazing, once you're a parent, when you go to vacation, life just slows down. Whose glasses do you have? Deads. <laughs> Deads. You tend to take things a lot easier. You don't just fly all over the place. And I ended up spending way more time just enjoying the beach and the sand than I would if I would not have children, just because Xander could not get enough of digging in the sand and playing in the water. Do the sand, Mom? Uh-huh. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels like mushy play-doh. And I just loved relaxing, not having to be responsible for anything, just watching him play. So that was so much fun and I, we spent so much time just playing in the sand and the water, chasing seagulls, Xander, not me for sure. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed this day. You turn a puddle into oceans you set the galaxies in motion You see the magic in a single oh flake oh of snow Good for you! Do you want to take it home? Yeah. You turn the sidewalk cracks to canyons You are a fire-breathing dragon You follow treasure maps into the wild unknown I wanna go with you 
I want to go with you on a grand adventure. I'm along for the ride, and I feel it all again for the very first time. There's a huge small ball. On a grand oh, adventure. There's just nothing like sunshine, especially after you've left winter behind. I tell you what, oh, we came down here in such a rush. I hardly had, I didn't think I had a whole lot. I just grabbed the clothes I had. It's too cold to swim here anyway. Like the day before we were flying or the day we were flying, I was like scrounging through some of my beach clothes, my swim clothes and grabbed some stuff I got from Turks and Caicos last time we went. <laughs> I tried pulling on uh, one of my swim tops and it did fit. It was long enough that it fit, but it was so stretched tight. No one said it looks like if I go past anything pokey, it would go <laughs> and pop open. Oh man. So I didn't feel like buying anything maternity. So I didn't really feel like swimming anyway. Just enjoying the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sand. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun, huh? Oh. Okay, you go get him. Seagull, seagull. I honestly don't know what happened, but Nolan and I just lost our feet. Where are our feet? Yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a wiggling. <laughs> you turn a moment to a memory. You are the medicine that God knows I need. I'm better every day I get to spend. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We just got done eating out. I dropped Xander and Nolan off for ice cream and I am heading to meet someone I've been really itching to meet for a while. I wonder who that could be. 
Guess who I met in real life? Hi! <laughs> it's Hello. Lynette. So I have been here having a lot of fun chatting with her. And I met her grandma and then her mom, Virginia. So it's been fun chatting with them. I feel like I know them already, but now I got, finally got to meet them in real life. So it's been awesome. Yeah. It's I been told really her good. I didn't even like feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I totally did. So it's been a lot of fun. Santa, what, what did you get? A donut. That is a good donut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peachy's Donuts. Peachy's Baking Company. Oh, there's still some remnants of donuts. What is that getting you? Wow. That's good. Ooh, look at what mom got. Boy, that's big. That's one scoop. This is one scoop. This is one scoop. Goodness, you might have to have me help me eat it. Another bite. Pretty good. Do you like which one do you like better, yours or mum's? Mum's. Mum's. You can have more. This is way too much for me. Got coffees. We're heading over to the park tonight. There's some singing going on. It's our last evening here. And I'm just taking my phone. It's terrible picture quality. But that's what I'm taking tonight. Hey, this is where we run his bikes. Right? Someone local here had recommended we go check out Mayaka State Park where there's alligators and stuff. So we went down there and just walked around for a bit one day. Just beautiful. Saw alligators, which Xander had been itching to see. He was terribly scared that I was going to get chomped by one when we were walking through the woods, but I told him it's okay. There's no alligators here. But um, that was that was so refreshing. Lots of fun. Go see alligators! <laughs> We came out to a state park and there's supposed to be alligators here and I wasn't having my hopes too high, but we just went over a bridge and there is just a ton. <laughs> so we're going to check them out. Yeah! Let's see some alligators! There they are! <laughs> They're just a chillin', aren't they? Look, that's the, that's the daddy. You think? Yeah. Look at them! There's baby ones! Look, there's a baby! Uh-huh. Those are way bigger than I was expecting. Over here is a big one just chilling on the side. Should we go check him out? Yeah, we'll go check this huge. <laughs> this is crazy. Look, there's this. There's another alligator. There he is, Mom. <laughs> 
Okay. Hey, look, there's one coming under the bridge. Where? See it? Where? Right over there, he's floating. Yeah, see, there's one swimming right over here. Oh, see, there? See us sticking out of the water. Hmm. Mice? Okay, are we, are we chasing? A squirrel. a squirrel. This is absolutely magical. We're walking through like this canopy of palm trees, just breathtaking. And my photography itch has kicked in. I would love, love, love to be able to take like a wedding or like a family or a couple portrait session in here. The light filtering through the leaves and it's just beautiful. Oh, that leaves us. Look you should I go over there and see if there's alligators? No. I want to. No. Why? Because I'm too scared. Well, I'm going to go look. No. That's okay. You're going to get chomped. Nah. I'm going to get the what? Thing, the thing is, buddy, on land, alligators can't really move all that fast. You think there's any up here? Mm. I'm going to chomp my legs. You, you think they're going to do what? Chop my legs. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Waltz across the universe, beauty more than I deserve. It's right here, breathe it in. I've been missing all of this. Let the laughter sound again. Let the light come rushing in. Catch the sun, raise it up. Come and fill this empty. The beauty of God's creation is just phenomenal. I take nature above <laughs> commercialized, industrialized things any day. So we came down to Venice Beach. We heard it's a really great pit place to go looking for shark teeth fossils. So that's the plan. It is beautiful down here. It's a little bit of a drive, but yeah, beautiful day. What's the seahorse doing? <laughs> What's he doing? He's doing knees. I got a shovel. Because your other one broke? Yep. We could carry it like this on the shoulders. Oh, okay. <laughs> Large too. Oh. That's a good thing. That is. I'm so tired. We started way up the beach and we read that there's more shark teeth down at the pier. And it didn't look that far, which I'm like, yeah, this is crazy. So the only one got the car and drove way down. Anyway, we walked and walked and walked and walked in sand. I don't know for how long. I'm so tired. I'm not that, about this long. That long. And the closer we got to the bridge, the fuller it got with people. So we're just leaving. I found something that looked like a shark tooth, but I don't know if it is. Then this really nice man suddenly walked up to Xander and had a little water bottle full of them and he gave him one. Xander, do you want to show your shark tooth that look, he gave? Look! It opened its mouth. That was a claw you found. Where's the shark tooth? There we got it. Right like that. And then what else we found is this like a... A claw. Yep. So, and I found this. I don't know if it's a tooth or not. It looks like some kind of... I don't know what it is. I think you almost need like a little basket to go out and scoop up shells and stuff right where the tide's coming in to actually find them. So anyway, but we got one to take home. Also, Nolan went to get our ride. He said bad news. He had to park way further down yet. He can walk three times as fast as I can. So see 
see. It says, please take me home with you. It's not too bad, me. Yes, bring it. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. We were sitting here and a really nice older couple went and hung this in the pavilion. They obviously had made it out on the beach. It says, please take me home with you. It's very lonely here. So we just might take up the offer, right? Yeah, the wind chime with seashells. Oh, uh -huh. look, look at this one. Yeah, that was pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> so an Amish family just went past, Amish or Mennonite, one or the other. And um, I was asking them if they're going shark tooth fishing and said yeah you need a little net they had nets and stuff they gave us some tips they said they found so many you just go out and scoop up along the shore so I'll tell Nolan maybe we can go get a net and try it just for fun we'll see yeah would that be fun yeah we are now gonna try our hand at this beach we didn't get a net we're gonna use <laughs> Xander's leaky bucket and a shovel and I was able to relax a little bit in the car uh, all that walking I don't even know how long it was it was a long time and my feet are burnt from the other day and just walking through all that sand and on my feet for so long my feet are so swollen and tight so sunburn sand <laughs> swollen pregnancy feet <sighs> but I'm feeling much better now so such beautiful weather I just can't stay out of it it's just amazing we are getting one gorgeous day after the next here definitely need some kind of net thing but we've talked to some of the other people and they weren't having a whole lot of luck sometimes it depends on the time of day too so we might just head on back a while Xander found a little friend he's sure having a lot of fun <laughs> We'll get you all cleaned up when you're done playing. <laughs> so yeah, our days have just been super relaxing. Not a whole lot going on. Just a very relaxing family vacation. However, the reason that we're here is a little bit different. We did not plan to come here on vacation. So last summer, um, someone had reached out to me and asked if I'd come speak at a ladies retreat. And I was going to say no because I'm not a public speaker. But we kept thinking about it. And I remember I was going to say, no, I'm not going to come speak at this event. It's just completely out of my field. And I was that morning at church. I had made up my mind. No, no one was letting it up to me. And then the pastor <laughs> was talking about Moses being called to lead the people out of Israel or out of Egypt. And in Exodus 4.10, I believe it was, Moses was saying, I am not adequate. I'm the wrong person. You, I'm slow of speech and whatever, whatever, whatever. Don't choose me. And... God replied and said, who made your mouth? You know, who, who made you and who made the deaf and the dumb and the blind and all that? I will be with you and I will be with your mouth and show you what you should say. And after I read that, I felt like it was meant for me and that I wasn't supposed to say no. And so I said yes. And so here we are in Florida. But anyway, we decided since um, we're, I'm expecting, we're gonna kind of make a last family vacation out of it before the baby comes with just the three of us. So we extended our stay down here instead of just a weekend. We decided to come down here as a family for a whole week and just have a relaxing family vacation. So tonight is a ladies retreat and then it also goes tomorrow. And there's one slot in there that I have to speak and I'm so nervous and I've never done this before. <laughs> and I found out there's gonna be like 90 people there. <laughs> stage fright I'm probably just going to just completely yeah this is the morning of the talk I am so nervous I did not sleep well last night although I'm starting to feel better now but I'm just not a public speaker this is freaking me out I don't know why the, the ladies there are so nice but I'm just nervous <laughs> Nolan is getting something in the house and then we're off anyway so for now we're just enjoying one last day this is kind of what I feel is the last day of our vacation because then tomorrow, um, afterwards, after the retreat, we have a little bit of time together as a family. And then it's early Sunday morning, we fly back out again. Currently, we are here at the Ringling Museum. We're just walking around the grounds here. It's absolutely beautiful. Xander's playing on the playgrounds. I decided to quick shoot part of this video <laughs> before we go home to kind of let you know where we are, what we're doing. So, I think 
where I started on on level five. Okay. So we have to walk down past level four. Really? Uh huh. Are you sure you know? Yep. And uh, so so we have to go up to level five, and then go down level four, mm -hmm. then loop down, and then there's well. On the map it says on level four, you can like loop down right to number three. I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Think he'll get us out of here, babe? I think so. <laughs> you're the one, you're the one. I know it from the start. I knew it from the start. You're the one, you're the one Lighting up the path Straight through my heart We could stay right here Or run around the earth You just say the word Ooh, and I will follow you And I'll keep staying true So we were coming out of the Ringling Museum area and we ran into this older couple that was asking where the museum was. And she looked at me and she's like, are you on YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, anyway, we got to talking. And it was just so funny, like they were from Nashville and we talked about random, all kinds of things. And then she's like, yeah, we've never been to Sarasota before, but um, you know, all these different Mennonite YouTubers keep coming down here and they talk about Olaf's Creamery and Yoder's and all these places. And we just wanted to come down here and check it out. I'm like, this is so funny. She's like, so you guys are giving the tourist area here um, business. Anyway, I just thought it was so funny that someone wanted to come down, try out like the little Amish Mennonite hangouts here in Sarasota. It's mostly due to um, Lynette and Megan Fox, I'm sure, because they're the ones that regularly are here. Obviously, Lynette lives here. Megan comes down every year. I don't know if any of the rest of us actually come down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, I was hoping to get you a bunch of fresh fruit for it. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our little family vacation to Florida. We are so blessed that we've been able to travel so much this year and this warm sunshine has felt so amazing. One thing to note, don't ever fry your feet when you're 29 weeks pregnant because oh my goodness, I burnt them so bad. I'm like, oh, I'm not getting a whole lot of sun on my legs. I'm gonna skip the sunscreen there. Anyway, combined burnt red legs with swollen, swollen pregnancy feet. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit them in my dress shoes tonight. <laughs>